Hey guys. <laughs> uh, here we go, guys. Brian Powell sitting here in VR as always. We're testing out uh, Marvel's Iron Man VR. Uh, I gotta be honest, guys. I had to reinstall this thing, obviously on the PlayStation 5. 50 meg. Took a while to download. Uh, I wanted to start this stream about an hour ago. So, uh... Let's give this a shot. The load times were already increased on one of the uh, PlayStation 4 patches, so hopefully the PlayStation 5 will make this a pretty seamless game, man. Let's give it a shot. What's up, everybody in the chat? How's everyone doing today? Everyone doing okay? Let's see. 8, 9, 12, 15, 19, nope, 23... <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. There we go. Hey, what's up, Todd? Hi. What's up, Hunter? What's up, I'm everyone? Tony. Oh, hey, Tony. And I'm, well, you know who I am. The guy who has it all. Wealth, fame, impeccable taste in suits. What do you get the man with everything? Oh, you know what? I think. A chance to give something back. Why do I think my TV is not muted? That's why. All right, much better. Hey, what's up, tornado? Tornado's on the floor next to my foot. She's hanging out for the stream. Let's see how this thing looks, guys. Let's see how this thing looks. Been uh, checking out games nonstop on PlayStation Five. It's been a lot of fun. Trying to look around here, guys. Trying to see. Trying to see what's going on here. Looking at some details. See, I, I always thought that this. Uh, I always thought that this game looked pretty decent, right? I know a lot of people complained about the about the texture detail and stuff, but I always thought it looked pretty decent to begin with. And I think it looks pretty much the same right now. But uh, but we're really here to focus on load times. So uh, so let's do this. Let's do this. All right, where are we supposed to go? Oh, we're going this way. <laughs> good. Feels good. All right, time to open her up. All right, we got some adapters being shipped in the chat. I like that. Hopefully, everyone gets their uh, adapters before the PlayStation Five gets to their house. No problems with the PlayStation 5 over here, guys. I know some people had some launch day issues. Uh, it sounded like a lot of it was related to external hard drives. I don't know if that was the case for everybody. That music's kind of loud, huh? Alright, yeah. real quick here. I'm gonna fix the volume level a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so uh, so one of the things we're gonna be checking here, guys, uh, obviously is load times. Um, and so that, that, that'll be interesting. We'll see how fast they are. Uh, the first one was pretty fast. Uh, graphics seem like they're pretty much the same. I, you know, there was no word that they were gonna be improved, so that doesn't surprise me. Uh, but everything looks fairly good still. I'm playing from my uh, from my hard drive, my SSD, uh, because I don't have an external hard drive. I've never used an external hard drive for any console I've ever had. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I just kind of I just kind of work with what's given to me. This might be the first generation I actually buy an external hard drive. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Because you know, obviously, I'm, I've got so many PSVR games. I'm already starting to fill the the drive up. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious, you in this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it today. Where are you anyway? Look out the window. Oh, right, let's go, I uh, some. Looks like you made let's some go to these seek and, seek and destroy targets. 
It's been a while since I played this. The controls are going to take a second to get used to. Out of range. I wish I could fire that far away, man. That'd be great. Why can't I fire that far away? Three more targets to go. You can I you can kind of tell already. Two more targets left. The the smooth turning isn't all that smooth. You guys can see probably even in the stream that it looks like it stutters. Now again, I think it was always Shanghai that always had the biggest problem with uh, stuttering as far as frame rate goes. I don't know if this is frame rate related, but it's certainly not smooth. Um, one more. So that that might be answering one of our first questions. Shanghai was always an issue. This is looking like an issue still. Alright, where are we supposed to go? Beautiful sunset, man. Beautiful sunset. Alright, time to fly. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to get used to these controls, I guess. Inspecting the foundations? I should have a secret entrance to you know, it's not a secret if you tell me about it. There we go. Oops. Enjoying the view? We should have lunch. I'm not climbing that. I'll carry you. <laughs> It'll be a dark day when I let you carry me wearing that thing. Anyone for tennis? No, you always win. Oh, come on. We can play doubles. All right, lots, lots of voiceovers as always. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? You know I work better with an audience. Yeah, anyone who doesn't want to stick around for this whole stream, I will obviously be including some of uh, the Iron Man load times in my next quick comparison video. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to make everybody sit, sit around and wait for all my impressions, but hopefully you guys will hang out and uh, you know, hopefully uh, have a good time in the chat. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll, see, something, we'll see something cool here. Swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply a quarter inch magnetic articulation seals to the boot thrusters. It can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5%. Oh, okay. Should I be writing this whoa, down? Whoa. No, no, no. I'm like a steel trap. Oh, yeah? When's my birthday? Yeah, I'm sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. Yeah, all right, so it does sound like the stuttering is coming through uh, pretty clearly in the uh, in the stream. So that's good that you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, ho hopefully, hopefully with any luck. Fist rockets engaged. I'll try the other hand to throw a finish. Knock it! Just like Happy Hogan Tommy. Ho hopefully Camouflage has a, uh, ha has a patch going for, for PlayStation 5. Hopefully they can let this game really... Oops, what am I supposed to do here? I'm still just going around the course, is that all I'm doing? Nice. I wasn't paying attention to the voiceovers. As always, I never pay attention to games when I stream. People are always like, <laughs> people are always getting mad at me in the chat. They're like, why aren't you doing this? Didn't you pay attention? I was like, no, I was paying attention to you guys. And so, oops. Not close enough. Still not close enough. And Elbert's probably rolling in his grave right now. Time to punch out. Oh wait, Elbert's not dead. What am I talking about? Oh, I didn't punch out. I just went through it. Ah, oh, God, I'm so dumb. Okay, come here, come here. Still not close enough. I don't remember having to be that close to do those things. Well done, Tony. Did you get what you needed, or are you gonna go again? You know what? I'm. So Belramio just said it looks like the HUD is stuttering to keep up. It doesn't look like the background is stuttering. So I'm trying to ignore the HUD, and it does still look like it's a little bit of both, but the HUD is making it so much worse. Maybe later. Um, later. Sounds good. Not, not that I really care, I guess. If it's stuttering, it's stuttering. Um, but that is, that is an interesting observation for sure.
we go. All right, here, here comes the load screen. I'm thinking pretty much everything has a load screen, so this has to be the, one of the first ones. All right, here we go. What's up, you got Cold Dugger? What's up, Hack? What's up, everybody in the chat? I've heard a bunch of awesome names. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I mean, you gotta say, you gotta say, these load times were horrendous at launch. Uh, so that was pretty quick. Oh, tell, tell Elvert I said hi in Discord. More importantly, Pepper was proud of me. It's always strange, those voiceovers that kind of like extend the load screens. It's like, just give me those voiceovers during the load screens. I don't know if that's meant to hide more load screen problems or whatever. All right, let's uh, do... Downstairs. It's really unfortunate, man, that the Tony Stark stuff is all teleportation. I felt like if you could just literally just walk around and maybe pick up a few extra things, it could have been okay. <clears throat> But all this stuff is hey, Pepper. not quite as interesting as it should be. Can't fault you for staring. Oh, please. I'm just shocked to see you out of the armor. I was afraid it'd fuse to your skin. I'm working on something like that. Oh, wait. Yeah, the load times are significantly better, that's for sure. That's worth more if I sign it. It's worth more if I sign it. I forge your signature better than you do, Tony. I'm capturing the moment. Does Jeremy do voiceover As work now? What do Stark Industries no longer makes? Does he sound like Tony Stark? Is that what we're saying? Sounds official. Give me, give me, give. Have you seen my glasses? I think you left them in the living room. I'm headed up to the Overlook. Grab your glasses and meet me there. We can just catch the sunset. There they are. Here we go. Do, 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 do. I'm, I'm going to try not to stick around too much in this uh, in-between stuff. I definitely want to get back out there and fly around and and shoot some stuff. Better way to see uh, you joined the Discord by clicking hey, the link in the description of this video, and uh, and then it's pretty easy after that. Me. Just one thing I got to do first. Pack up the past. This game doesn't have a PS5 patch, and that's why we knew that the graphics probably weren't going to be anything sub substantially upgraded. They, they all look, I'd say, exactly the same. Um, uh, and so, but but all, all the PlayStation 4 games that I've tried so far have substantially increased their uh, their load times. So, uh, that always said stick to and, and, and the biggest problem I thought you think Iron Man had was the load times. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's head outside. Uh, so that was the only concern I had. Like, I just, if they could increase the, I mean, if it could speed up the load time significantly to the point where they're not that big of an issue, uh, because they are so frequent that if they were just, you know, a few seconds each time instead of 45 seconds to a minute, um, then, I, <laughs> then they're, they're not really a big deal anymore. And that is way, way better than it used I to be. I was a changed man. Um, Pepper was convinced of that. And with her help, Soon the world will be convinced of that. See again, the part voiceovers in just in darkness. I, I never understood My what they're doing here. Myself. Again, it could be to hide um, even extended load screens. Not really sure what the the deal was. Candlelit dinner, Tony. You're full of surprises. <clears throat> if you only knew. No silverware? We'll use our hands. Ooh, topless. Hey. Uh, see. It's an interesting shadow. Uh, this game uh, seems 40 bucks, I think. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's on sale currently. Palma de Florida. So, we're not having dinner. Right on cue. Stark Industries drones? Combat drones. Last of them. The dregs. I figured they deserve a worthy set. 
If you're gonna blow stuff up, at least move away from the fine china. Piece? <laughs> no. Dessert. Something sweet? Bittersweet. Here goes. The gunsmith AI? It's time the old Tony hung up his spurs. There we go. Lots of cutscenes here, guys. Lots of cutscenes. Not a whole lot to do while you're watching them either, uh, and I don't feel like talking over the voiceovers, so I'm, I'm listening to all your comments, though. Um, I'll, I'll definitely try to respond to as many as I can after this is, after we get back into the game. Well, S.H.I.E.L.D. is on for Director Fury put in a full order. I can't that What's up, Borgarver? What's up, Tempest? What's up, everybody? Rainbow guy. You're shutting me down. Early retirement. You've earned it. Boss, I'm... It's not your fault. I made you to make weapons. Created you in my own image. And now, you want to change that image. I want to change the world. So, do I go to the trophy case or the trash? Your top shelf, pal. I'll keep you around. Suspended animation, but with full internet privileges. Oh. Guess I'll take up surfing. You cool? Gunsmith? Me? Of course I'm cool. I'm him. Well, let's get to it, boss. A life of leisure awaits. See you on the other side. Alright. Here we go. What, what are you looking at? Oh. <laughs> that wasn't easy. I'll take him. Here you go. All yours. He was good at what he did. But what he did wasn't good. The world doesn't need another cruise missile or smart bomb. The world needs you, Tony. The world needs Iron Man. All right. Sorry guys, I, I definitely missed uh, some tips here. Um, shout out to you got Cold Dogger with the $3 donation. It says No Man's Sky has dual sense haptics on PS5. Um, yeah, on PS5. Unfortunately not PlayStation VR, but that's... Uh, but that is still cool though. Um, we also got Belt Ramy of the Game Cat. He says... Uh, with the 549 donation saying, I really like the gunsmith stuff in the game. It's a fun character. I agree. I just think it's a little, uh, it's a little too much, honestly. Uh, I missed that load time because I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to look at the comments. At least it was, uh, at least it was pretty quick. And we're going to see plenty more load times. Hopefully we can blast through some of these cutscenes. It's really front loaded with cutscenes. It's, it's a little too much for a beginning of a game. Uh, like, let me... All they really let me do was like fly around with time trials and shooting uh, targets and stuff. So, luckily we will, uh, luckily we'll get out of here in a second. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, load times, load times are drastically improved. Obviously, they're not immediate. Nothing on, not no PlayStation Four games are immediate. Um, Morning, sir. Hello. May I get you something? But this is drastically improved. Right. Like this is exactly what we needed. Pepper. 
I wish you could shoot hoops during dialogue scenes too. I wish you could. I wish there was always a little something you could play with when conversations were happening. Uh, that was a, that was definitely a complaint of mine during uh, during lunch. There's a lot of this. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts. To this isn't really enough here. Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? Yeah, I agree. Uh, the load screen that happens right in the middle of this cutscene before you get to fly around, that was really a disappointment for me, too. I'm not always um, right. I mean, it, I'm usually right. Tony! The frequency the of the load screens was, was, was certainly a problem. But if they're faster, I can deal. handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was going to ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them. That's this is the most disappointing part of the game. The company turned We're so close to espresso, and we never quite world. get it. And I want you to get that message out there. Never get Don't the coffee. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? <sighs> Every time. I... Friday. Who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over. Remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! There we go. Combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm no coffee for me. <laughs> Says swipe, I wanna swipe. Tony, look! Time to die. Alright, here we go, guys. Here we go. Yeah, for anyone asking about the graphics, the graphics are identical to the to the way they are on PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, which means they look fine. But you know, they are what they are. Um, there, there hasn't been any kind of uh, PlayStation 5 patch to make anything to allow for dynamic resolution or anything like that. So, uh, so right now it seems like load times are where it's at. Uh, Now let's check out this load time. This is going to be critical here to make sure that it's not too long. Looks like it's flying. It's kind of flying. And it's over. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. Like when it would pull you out for 45 seconds before, that was tough, man. That was tough. But like load screens that are that long, I can totally deal with. Systems online. Just in time. We got a plane to catch. You can't outrun We'll see about that. It's also really good to hear that all those adapters are going out to everybody in the UK, uh, and hopefully everybody in Europe. I know that they, I was figuring that Sony was probably focusing on America and Australia first, just to uh, because we had the launch a week early. Uh, so they wanted to make sure that we had the adapters before anyone else. I'm guessing that's what happened. Um, but it's really good to hear that they're on the way to everybody else. Hopefully they'll make it there before your PlayStation 5 launch, so you can all be playing PSVR games on day one. So exciting, uh, it, and it feels really good to be playing PSVR on my new PlayStation 5 console. A lot of games, a lot of games don't have, you know, huge graphical improvements. Most games look identical, um, but that is okay for now. Fire 
Graphics look identical to the Pro. Um, hopefully they'll get a patch out that can kind of smooth things out a little bit because it does have some frame rate issues here and there. Um, that would be really nice. That would be really nice. is enough to sell me on uh, on PlayStation 5 PSVR. Dreams is so, so good. It's so improved. I can't steer! So the aileron on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? We'll have to wing it. More Andy, I really hope that your uh, your your new transfer goes smoothly. Um, sorry to hear that your uh, your drive crapped out on you. That's not the end. hand behind you. Shoot the pre with the other hand. 
It's a, it's a great locomotion system. I, I absolutely love flying in this game. I know some people had a problem with the buttons or whatever. I just you know everything. Everything felt great to me. we did. Uh, again, it's been a while since I played. I don't expect a perfect ranking or anything like that. Uh, but I'll take it. Fantastic. <laughs> I actually had to re I had to I had to rebuy this game and, and install it um, onto uh, onto a different account. For some reason, I couldn't transfer this over from PlayStation 4. I'm assuming because I had a review key. Um, Let's see how this load screen goes. Uh, and, and so, so my save game doesn't exist for this, even though I've completed it and unlocked a ton of uh, the decos and stuff. Let's take a look at this load screen. Come on, yes, come on, come on, come on! You can do it. We have faith. Look at that. Look at that. That's so much faster. So much faster. Usually, I see the danger before it hits, even from twenty thousand feet. But someone got the drop on us. It was 3 a.m. when I left Pepper at the hospital. I had a plan. <laughs> and I knew she wouldn't like it. I went home, and I woke up the guy who knows my old weapons better than anyone. <sighs> just once. Just... Just this once. Bell Ramio, thank you so much for the... Uh, the, the, the 449 donation, man. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the coffee tip. Good stuff, man. Hello, old friend. All right. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think my review score would change for this game. Uh, I think I think if you go back, I think retroactively, if I look at all my review scores, they're all about a half a point too high. Um, and so I think I gave this like an 8.3 or 8.4 or something like that. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should give it like a 7.9. Uh, and so this kind of boosts, bumps it back up to the score that I gave it originally, uh, especially with all the new content and stuff. Um, I think this is a solid mid eight game, especially now, especially now for sure. Hey, boss. Hey, pal. Where's the party? The party's over. <laughs> oh, great. I smell like feet. Whoa, ho, ho. Blast from the past. <laughs> it's a power core from an old drone. I kind of wish I had my save game from uh, from my complete playthrough, so I could actually just jump from cool level to cool level. Uh, unfortunately, this is the best we got. That's odd. There's no serial number. Where is it from? Hoping you can tell me. Sir, Miss Potts has been moved to a secure location, but her... Sorry, I didn't realize we had company. There we go. I'm more like family. Uh, Friday, this is the gunsmith. Why don't you bring me up to speed here, Donald? Hey! I'm not a touch screen. Gunsmith, show some respect. Wait, shh, 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 shh. Oh, no. Miss Potts. She's... She's in hospital. And the cowards that put her there? Still at large. Help me find them. 
Oh, we'll find them, boss. And when we do... Alright. Another loading screen? I can't remember. It's been a while. They're, they're kind of everywhere, though, so I wouldn't be surprised. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't think I've turned my PlayStation 5 off since <laughs> since I got it on launch day. Uh, actually, no, I guess I turned it off during Gamescast, and then after Gamescast, uh, so like Thursday night around 9, 10 p.m., I turned it on, and I think it's been on ever since. Uh, so all day Friday and all day Saturday, or all day Thursday night, Friday, and then Saturday so far. <coughs> Excuse me, I just, uh, I don't, <laughs> I, I just use it all the time. It's always running Netflix, it's always running something. Yeah, sorry, I'm not talking through the cutscenes, man. It's like, it's just, I don't feel like talking over the voiceovers. Uh, so, I don't even know if you'd be able to hear me. I don't know if it'd just be like an absolute mess. Did Gunsmith drag this thing out of storage? Oops, no, I meant to go. I meant to go now. Crap. I have to go and then turn around. There we go. Head downstairs. Hey, I am Batman. Thank you so much for the five dollar donation, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. All right. Morning, sir. Morning, Friday. Any update on our enemy's whereabouts? Afraid not. It's that hard light, sir. Our enemy cloaked your old drones in a type of energy we've not encountered before, allowing them to appear out of nowhere. Got to uh, <laughs> I was just checking to see. I, I know you could skip some cutscenes. Um, I don't know if that was only after you beat the game, uh, or only some cutscenes. I kind of forgot that they'd added that. Um, I haven't played Saints and Sinners yet on PlayStation 5. Uh, that is on my list of things to do today. I want to make give me another comparison video uh, out later tonight, uh, just like yesterday's comparison video, where I kind of just put a bunch of things side by side with loading screens and graphical fidelity and stuff. Uh, so I'll be doing another one of those tonight for sure. Did you where those drones came from yet? So serious. And yes, I mean no. I mean I will. But I've been thinking. You've built a pretty great suit. But I think I can make it even better. Standing on the shoulders of giants, of course. Pal, I brought you back to figure you out... You brought me back because we're in a street fight. And you know I don't pull any punches. Just take a look. The PlayStation 5's too big for your right, bed. What's it doing in your bed? So, I've analyzed your armor and found <laughs> places where we can make potential upgrades. Yeah, Saints and Sinners, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the graphics are going to be identical. Um, but, uh, but those load time comparisons are going to be essential. Go ahead, boss. Select one of the auxiliary weapon slots. This virtual workstation is where you can choose equipment to build and integrate into your suit. You can put together all kinds of gunpowder-based goodies here, boss. Let's start with smartnesses. If you want to arm yourself with knowledge as well as hardware, Specs on each weapon appear above politics. I just now, want to craft that. <laughs> there we boss, go. I always say the more the merrier. Equip those smart missiles to your other arm, too. Yeah, I agree. I love this game too. I, I think I think you know we were one of the outlets that uh, that that really kind of appreciated it more than a lot of other people did. Uh, I was reading some. I was actually reading some reviews today. Uh, from, from people just to kind of like remember what, what launch day was like and man some people were really really critical of this game and again it's the, the load times are a killer um, but everything else was was okay you know I, I had a bunch of nitpicky things I had a bunch of things I was like yeah this could be better that could be better but like the load times killed it and, and now the load times better I'm like this game is psh, totally totally something I'd recommend Yeah, so unfortunately, like I said, um, I, I don't, I don't have the, uh, 
I don't have my save because I actually had to rebuy this game today. I had to rebuy it for a different region. There was something something weird about having a review copy um, from Sony for the original launch that for some reason it didn't transfer over to PlayStation 5. Uh, so I actually had to buy it in a different region uh, and then download it. Uh, and that's why, actually, I, wa I wanted to start this stream about two hours before I started it. But man, it's like getting going through the process of getting a, a foreign gift card and then on top of that, look at that, see how fast that was? That was great. Um, and then on top of that, going and, and having to download 50 gigs uh, before the stream. But I was concerned about the night uh, So it was. It definitely took a little bit of time to kind of get the stream up and running. I don't have my save. My my save is stuck in my old profile, uh, in a different account, my North American account, and it doesn't transfer over. Uh, so uh, it sucks. What do you have? So I don't. I don't know what the deal is there. Um, but I didn't feel like waiting to talk to Sony and figure out what the problem was. I was just like, ah, fuck it. Let's just buy it and, and play it. This is the game I wanted to play today, and nothing was going to stand in my way. Here we are. <laughs> and again, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's uh, it's awesome. I love I love seeing you guys here. Very cool. Uh, those load screens are so fast. So fast by comparison, I should say, right? What would you like to do first? Let's start with ground. Oh, I love this one. Let me find a good place to test this out. This spot looks good. I recommend you manually engage. <laughs> What's up, Gabriel? Double O four Game Cat. Uh, it was not on sale, but what are you gonna do? In all fairness, I didn't have to buy it the first time. Um Oh, I've got the hover button. Totally forgot. Oops. Uh, so turn. I guess it's only fair. How do you aim it, sir? I pick a spot. Make a fist. Uh, yeah, JD Max. It's uh, the frame rate and the graphics are identical to PlayStation 4 Pro, so there uh, does not seem to be any improvement with that kind of stuff. Um, you can see, like, even turning, everything's a little stuttery. Uh, but the loading times are crazy, crazy, crazy improved. So, uh, so it gets my seal of approval for uh, for a PlayStation 5 launch without a patch. Um, hopefully, we can get a patch, improve the frame rates, improve the frame rates, improve the resolution, that kind of stuff, um, and then maybe even improve the load times even more. Uh, but we'll see what happens. PlayStation 5 is compatible with PlayStation 4 discs 100%. Uh, I've been I've been popping PlayStation 4 discs into my PlayStation 5 all day, uh, all day yesterday, all night Thursday. Uh, yeah, 100% compatible. Uh, very very few games don't work. Um, you know, we'll definitely be taking a look at some of those too. Yeah, welcome to 2006, man. We've been complaining about those uh, move controllers without analog sticks forever. Um, did I say 2006, 2016. Uh, I mean, actually, they, they're they're pretty they're pretty damn old, man. Uh, the, these controllers, so it's uh. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but PSVR 2 is going to be even better. We're going to get some new controllers. We're, I mean, it's just going to be awesome when it gets here. Um, oh, forgot what I was doing. Oh. Uh, yeah, the, n the next gen leaf is going to be insane, and uh, unlike the rest of the world, I definitely think it's going to be here sooner rather than later. Uh, I think we're going to see a 2021 release for PSVR 2. But, you know, if you've been following the channel, uh, this is the kind of stuff that I've been talking about for like the last year. Not too shabby. I suppose you need to paint multiple targets, sir. Just doing right hands, that what we're doing? Gunsmith is not messing around. Instead, why don't we review your repulses, sir? Sure, I know these. Hands up, palms forward. You old hat at this. I mean, I am iron. Beautiful. Let's test weapon switching. 
Pulsar's palms up, auxiliary's palms down. Certainly. Yellow for the pulsars, red for auxiliaries. Take this show on the road. Oh, guess we get a little bit closer here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not doing good painting these targets. Yeah, I like the palms up, palms down mechanic. Yeah, it takes a second to get used to, man, but like I think once you get used to it, it's it's great. Uh, yeah, if anyone who skipped this game uh, because of the load times at launch, a lot of people said, I remember a lot of people saying, I'll wait and pick this up when PlayStation 5 comes along. Um, and man, I gotta, I gotta be honest, like if you waited, then good for you, uh, but now it's time to pick it up because it's definitely the best it's ever been. Project Neo is a follow-up Project Morpheus. I love it, man. I love it. On PlayStation 5 is visually identical, um, so if you had frame rate drops, uh, then you're going to see the exact same frame rate drops as you did before. Uh, same with uh, same with any blurriness, uh, but it looks fine. As, as far as I'm concerned, this game looks fine. Oops. I think you're right. I am Batman. I, mean, I feel like a lot of people didn't give us enough time, but you know, everyone's different, so. But the load times here are dramatically improved, and that's what we were really testing out today. I didn't really expect any graphical. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. Got it, I suck at this. Yeah, there's no, there's no patch for this, you guys, and that's what, and that's what's great is that this is just the PlayStation 5 is naturally making this game load faster, um, and so that is great. That is absolutely great. That means if there is a patch coming, we'll, uh, we'll see even more improvements. God, I suck at this. <laughs> uh, I swear that I swear I got pretty good at flying. Uh, Yeah, I mean, anyone anyone who hasn't played this, uh, anyone who hasn't played this on a pro, uh, or any games on a pro, man, if you upgrade to PlayStation 5, you're going to love it, man, uh, because for some games, the difference on, from OG to, P to pro is, is dramatic, uh, and that's, and so you're just going to see, like, the best of all worlds uh, when you upgrade to PlayStation 5 from the OG, because not only are you going to get the the, the pro enhancements, but you're going to get the fast, the faster loading screens from PS5 here. So, you know, I think I think the future is looking pretty bright, man, for PlayStation VR. We've got we've definitely got a lot of life left in this little thing. Um, and like I said, I, I don't think that PSVR 2 is that far away. Again, these loading screens are they're frequent, but they're not bad anymore. This is great. This is great. Um. Welcome back, boss. All right, let's let's 
Let's, Thanks, pal. We want to make sure we go to Shanghai. What you working on over there? I've put together an early warning system to track our friend from the jet. Have a look when you can. Shanghai is definitely the level I wanted to check out. I know it's going to be identical, but still, I still need to check it out before we end the stream. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a pattern that could tell us where they'll strike next. I got it, boss. Oh, sure, just walk right in. You're more important. Using an unclassified war game simulator, I cross reference. There's no skip, right? I just got. I just got to check. Ah, there's no skip. Okay. The jet attack with military strategy dating back to 1743. Then I ran the results through a chess program developed <laughs> in the 1980s by a Russian agent known only as Victor the Fly. Now Victor was almost certainly insane. However, well, he was able get to get to the bloody point. Yeah, seriously, get to the bloody point. Please and thank you. Shanghai. There we go. That's where our enemy will strike next. So that just happened. Do you think he's right, sir? When it comes to stuff like this, he usually is. Right. In that case, let me explain the globe. Uh. It's an early warning system that displays current threats and can even anticipate new ones. Uh, she's like, let me explain the, the globe. It's a level select screen. Your right to spin the globe to a mission location. Got it. As you can go. see, Shanghai good, is currently good. highlighted. Yeah, let's go. Select it to proceed. We're trying to go. There Going we go. Going forward, right. when choosing a location, you can review the data I've prepared for an upcoming mission. When you're ready, <laughs> press the deploy. <laughs> Look, I'm totally ready. Let's go. No, no more explanation required. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another load screen. How is this going? I, dude, I would stand here for so long and just play with the the particles on the floor, uh, just and, and just lose my fucking mind every single time. Like, how can these load times be so long? Um, at, le at least this is much faster. This is might be the longest load time we've seen so far, and it was still pretty good, man. To to load in the whole level, that's pretty good. Back in the day. Buying a stark weapon meant buying a seat. Alright guys, if you're looking for other game comparisons, I'm going to be putting out a video later tonight uh, with more comparisons side by side. It'll be like Saints and Sinners and Squadrons and all sorts of different things. Uh, so, uh, so be patient and I'll get a video out tonight and hopefully that'll answer a few more of your questions. We'll do side by side comparisons and load screens um, and uh, and hopefully it'll be uh, hopefully it'll answer a few questions if you guys have. All right. So, whereas the the rest the of deserted. the city's under curfew, sir. Whereas the rest of the game, the I think, looks pretty decent. Things. Shanghai and always looks a little, Let's check it out. a little rough. So, if you guys haven't seen Shanghai before, it's it the idea is cool, you know, flying it around it's buildings and stuff. But then you, they look like they've been rendered on like a PlayStation sir, One. I'm getting some confusing readings. From the tower? I can't locate the source. So it's, it's huge. The thing is, the, the level is huge, and I'm sure that's why these buildings look the way they do. But the, the building doesn't need to be this big. I mean, the uh, the level doesn't need to be this big. Uh, so I don't know why they did that. They could cut this level size in half and maybe like improve the look of it significantly. And the loss of attraction. It's an old Stark-built Meridian mine. We didn't build it to do that. Sir, it's unusual energy signature is still present. Eyes peel, Friday. I bet there's What's more. What's going on, Tiff? I detected a concentration of signals. Displaying now. G Police. G Police Weapons of Justice. I, I played both of those, man. G Police was a great game. Colony Wars was even better, though. There are still mines in the vicinity.
Alright, we head on over here. I love that these things create little black holes when they explode. Uh, and you get sucked in, but you can just hit the hover button and uh, and you just blow right blow right in midair, no problem at all. They don't look great. Well, it's working. You can't just ignore them. I don't really focus on graphics that much either, which is a little strange. Like, but these are like these are act these buildings are actually distracting. Um, so, you guys know I'm pretty forgiving when it comes to VR graphics. And I actually think Malibu looks fantastic. I think I think they actually did a great job with that level. So, uh, just kind of something to keep in perspective, I guess. Your opinion may vary, I have no idea. Uh. Anybody just joining the stream, there are no visual enhancements whatsoever. This game looks identical to the way it did on the Pro. Um, this, the frame rate stutters in the same places. The, uh, the graphics look identical. Uh, and so it's, it's the same game, but the load times are dramatically improved. So luckily there's that. Luckily there's that. Huh? Our block party seems to have moved to new block. The enemy's drawn us away from your building. Actually, it's what funny you say that. See? Maybe you might be onto something. If the ground looked something was better than whatever this flat texture is, um, the buildings might not seem like they're coming out of nothing. Uh, so I don't know, you know. I just think the level is like three times bigger than it has to be, uh, and they could have done a lot more with it if it was a little more confined. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done ranking on the uh, on Shanghai, though. That's for sure. We're, we're, I, I just want to get inside this building here, uh, and then we'll get back out and... Well, remember, man, remember that this, this isn't this isn't patched for the PlayStation 5. This isn't like Blood and Truth or Firewall. Um, so, you know, no one no one made any claims that this game was going to be better. And the fact that we got better loading times is, is like just like a bonus right out of the box. Hopefully Camouflage can bring us a PlayStation 5 patch. Um, you know, no idea if they're going to do that or not. But we'll see. We'll see. I will say, watching um, watching the Xbox Series X launch, uh, that it's crazy how, how good they did backwards compatibility of this generation. Uh, they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. You can play every Xbox game ever made, and in their and they look great on on the Series X. Uh, PlayStation could definitely take a page out of the, uh, the Microsoft book for backwards compatibility. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Blue right to the black hole. 
That wasn't supposed to happen. Again. Again. I'm seeing a lot of red here. We'll be fine. Everything's going to be fine. I'm not playing on a very hard difficulty. This is normal difficulty. I'm not going to die. Everything's going to be fine. Still locked out. I suggest you come see for yourself. Here we go. Friday, flashback time. I'm 14, I accidentally set fire to my dad's laboratory. Long story. Anyway, he changes the locks a little. Sir? So I take it as a teachable moment. Learn a thing or two about breaking an enemy. Just have to remove this panel. Rip out this wire to disrupt this. Open session. Yeah, trust me, man. Trust me. You're preaching to the choir about PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 1 games. I have all my PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games, man. I want to put them in my PlayStation 5. I want to play my backward compatible, backward compatible games. I don't want to have to keep a PlayStation 2 and 3 and 4 around. I guess the 4 I don't need to keep around. But you know what I'm saying. Let's check out this load screen. There we go. Super fast. Crazy Taxi on PS5 would be great. I have the PlayStation 2 disc. I could put it in and play it. Uh, if only we had backwards compatibility. Um, like you said, sir, the drones were protecting whoever vandalized your office. Love what they did with the place. How did they get in? There's no sign of forced entry. Let's check out the computers. I was going to say, if my hand... My office? I don't, I don't know if the hand scanner recognizes the suit. Does it recognize the suit? All right. They were looking for something, but I'm not sure what. Spoke too soon. Tim Shun. Not in my databanks. Friend of yours? Friday? You get the feeling we're not alone? More than a feeling, sir. Switch to near infrared, but keep the visible spectrum. There's someone else in here. Electromagnetic traces of their presence all around. Then let's find them. Uh, let's go find them. Hurdy Gurdy, holy crap! Hurdy Gurdy was another one that got ruined by load times. Hurdy Gurdy was great, man, but the load times were awful. Yeah, if you need to know more about this game, guys, and you don't want to spoil anything, feel free to go check out my review, uh, where I actually cover the game in, without spoilers. Um, this gets into story spoilers here. Um, and yeah, it, it, whenever you're not flying around shooting stuff, it is teleportation only, which blows. Uh, it kind of ruins the immersion. Whoa. Um, but there's still cool things Sir? to do. Someone ate my drunken chick. That's not funny. Up dot et dot two k dot 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 dot. Expecting a call Friday? Yeah, the art style is like a like a Disney movie. I still own my copy of Hurdy Gurdy. The dead are restless. Wrong number. Very wrong indeed. It's quiet out there. For now. Of 
Brad, Brad, what's happening, dude? Yeah, load times are infinitely better now. Um, so, but that is Hello? that is it. Everything else is exactly the same. You in there? Um, but load times are fantastic. You know, the I mean, they're still frequent. <laughs> but compared to the way they were, they're awesome. Uh, thank you, PlayStation 5, for saving this game. All of which begs the question, when, if ever, will Tony Stark face the music? So you got a name? Or should I just call you Ghost? My name is unimportant. It is the others. Those whose lives your weapons ended. They are the names you will know before you die. Like Tim Shum? One of many. Yeah. I got no clue who he is. You will. He is with us in this room. We all know who you are. The silent majority. We want to meet you, Tony Stark. It's time. Yeah, like I was saying, I know somebody just quoted the Microsoft tweet or quote or whatever. Um, but yeah, Xbox Series X seems to have full, complete backward compatibility with every Xbox game ever made other than like Connect, um, which is crazy because I still have my original Xbox games. I have 360 games. Like I kind of want a Series X just to have one console to play everything on. Um, I don't really have a desire for current gen Xbox, uh, but, but I love the backwards compatibility feature. And so I would buy an Xbox just for that alone. There we go. We just that again. When loading into Shanghai, each time you load into Shanghai is probably the longest loading screen we've seen so far, because um, it's the biggest level, I guess. Uh, and so, th and that still wasn't bad at all. And here we are. We're back outside. Where'd she go? She's not showing up. And I think I think we've seen uh, I think we've seen what we need to see, right? Uh, the game the game plays exactly the same. It's still a lot of fun, and it's way more fun now because you don't have to wait uh, so long between getting you know get going in and out of the action. It was just it was just so disruptive before, and you just stand here and you just play with the water particles or whatever the hell this is supposed to be. And just I mean I would I would take off my headset, go into the kitchen, pour myself some coffee, drink a little bit of coffee, you know, find tornado, come back, put my headset on, and it would still be not done loading and now it's you know now it's like 10 seconds 12 seconds something like that it's 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 so so much better um so guys thank you so much for checking this out with me uh it's I'm very happy to report that you know without us without a playstation 5 patch iron man vr is so so much better um and hopefully camouflage is working on an actual patch maybe we can get you know improved resolution uh better uh, you know, better frame rates and stuff like that. But we'll see what happens. Uh, and again, I will be checking out a lot more games and putting up a video probably later tonight uh, with a lot of games you guys have requested seeing comparisons of. Uh, but go check out AJ's channel. AJ uh, over at PSVR Underground is going to be streaming, I believe, as long as the plans haven't changed. He's going to be playing Blood and Truth uh, and showing you guys the PlayStation 5 patched version of that. Uh, and of course, he's going to be doing his typical, his, uh, his Saturday Night live stream as well tonight uh but that's it guys thank you so much for hanging out uh go have fun join our discord <laughs> talk to you all soon i love you all meow meow